Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, to the Ball Ladies High with Shuttle here, about to give you another King of Fighters All Star video. Now, this video, I do have a little bit of a gift from Net Marble in the form of 3,000 rubies. And we're going to specifically use these rubies on the Halloween pack, meaning we're going to be doing 30 pulls of this and seeing exactly what we get. So, we should have in our inbox a new gift item, a reward from the event. Now, I did receive a code from Netmarble directly, so this is a sponsored video, and I'd like to thank Netmarble for uh, giving me the opportunity to make some content for you guys. I really appreciate that. So now we're going to go into our summon store, and you can see the Halloween fight. Now, I have been grinding this out. As you can see, I'm ranked 22. I'm already through 95 in the campaign, working on 96, so we're going to be pulling 30 of these Halloween fighters, and if we get really lucky... We have a 0.75% chance of actually pulling one of the Halloween characters. So, off 30 pulls, that is roughly an 85% chance that one of these Halloween characters are going to show up from 30 pulls. So, we're going to do the first batch of 10 Halloween fighters for you guys. And let's see what we actually get. So, again, I would like to thank Netmarble for sponsoring this video. And we're going to crack this open. We are doing times 10 because we're saving 100 rubies by doing this. And it looks like we got 9 4 stars and a 3 star. So we got a Chin Gensai. It's a new super rare. We got another Yuri Sakazaki in the green class. We got C Kensu, a super rare. We got 40 souls. We got 20 souls for Heavy D. We got more souls. More souls. More souls. We got a lot of duplicates here. We actually have a decent amount of fighters here. So we got three new and seven duplicates. And we ended up getting a million coins for popping again. So we're going to pop another batch of 10. And let's go. Second batch of 10 fighters. Do we get a Halloween 5 star or a 5 star in general? Does not look like it. Looks like we got another batch of uh, new. So we got Chin Jensei from the Blue Balance. We got Choi Bong from the Rare. I don't understand why Rare, Super Rare, unless it's like promotional where they're going to be adding in one and two stars. I'm not sure why. But when you get super rare, like 75% of the time, that does not feel rare to me. But that's just me. Could be promotional for upgrades, because maybe when they add characters in, it's not going to be like that. It looks like we're getting a lot of these now. So yeah, it looks like you get the new first, so... Kind of annoying that we get, like, the new first, and then, like, seven batches of this. Now, keep in mind, the souls are used for limit breaking. So getting souls is not bad because you want to take them up to level 41, 42, 52, and you don't have the materials to rank them up to five or six stars. You can limit break and do that. So it's a good way of doing that. Next up, we're going to do another batch of 10. And hopefully we can pull a five star from this batch of 10. I'm going to skip. We have good luck with that. And all duplicates. Oh my God, that is awful. This is why I do not pay actual money for loot box gambling. I'm not a fan of it. You know, like the Broadway saying could spend $500 and get a Halloween character to Halloween character. I'm not paying anything. I'm going to just play the game. I am going to make content for you guys. But this is why, unless I'm being handed things for sponsored videos, I'm not getting into gambling because you get royally screwed. So... Again, just to show how bad the drop rate for this is, a 5% chance to get a 5-star. We didn't even pull one. Not one 5-star from 30. So that is 1.5 times bad luck, as you would say. So that's pretty bad odds there. But I do want to show you guys what my roster looks like, what I have so far. So currently my strongest character is uh, 44 out of 51 Yuri uh, Sakazaki as a 5 star. I do have 5 5 star characters all together. This one I did limit break once. And the significance of limit breaking is that you can actually upgrade your fighters. I believe it's 30 times up to level 90. So you got to get them up to 6 stars 
And then you have to limit break them 30 times. Each phase is five levels, and the material increase is drastic. Each one is another 10,000 gold, so... And then it goes up. And then eventually it's 50,000. So once you get up to uh, phase 30, or phase 6, which is 30 level altogether, the stuff that you need is pretty insane. 590 total upgrades you need. So basically you need 10 upgrades every level. Which gets pretty crazy. So we also have uh, Kyo Kusagi, who can actually limit break 10 times if we wanted to. And there you can see now his level automatically goes up to 60 from 50 because we have the 100 total. It does cost 100,000 gold, so we're not going to do that right away because we do need a decent amount of gold to actually level up cores, and I don't want to spend all my uh, coinage there. But you can also see um, for limit breaking. Uh, Saisu Kasangi, we don't have anything. We have two of the uh, gold souls, which are a pretty good currency. We also have Athena Asamiya. And again, we don't have any of the souls. And for Shizaru Kagara, we don't have any souls either. But Limit Breaking is kind of a form of alternate advancement once you get the character up to six stars. You need to farm souls in order to actually level them up. And you can farm, there's a soul event three times a day that you can do. So it's a grind to actually level people up. You can also gain souls from playing in the story. So any of these missions that have event three of three, you can actually get souls for characters. Let me actually do one for you guys. So uh, Kasumi Toldo, we can actually do a soul event. So let's actually just pick this leader skill. And this should be a pretty trivial battle for my team because I have a uh, level 44. And I have invested in her core as much as I can. And yeah, you can see that these guys are only level 22, so we should have a problem with that. Early on, you kind of want to spend your XP capital on your best 4 or 5 star character. But do keep in mind that you can evolve 3 stars up and screen it easy. To four stars, so if you have a favorite character at three stars and you don't have them at four and five stars, there's no shame in ranking them up. That's the one beauty of this system is that even the three stars can go up to level 90, and you want to actually upgrade as many characters as you can at two uh, six stars level 90 because you get bonuses on your global account, which is pretty big. So now we're going to fight this opponent, it shouldn't be that bad. We have a massive uh, advantage. Because we already got two levels down on our health bar. So the health bar format is kind of like Chrono Blade, another game I did a sponsored video for. But because I'm actually playing this game with other people, including the Broadway saying another content creator, we might actually make some more content. Who knows? We might even do some collaborations. What it is. If you guys would like to see that, leave a like down below. So now by completing this mission. We actually got a soul for Kasumi Toto. So now we can actually go and get her. So all together you need 600 materials to actually fully limit break. And that takes a lot of materials. But you can also go into a soul event. If you go right here in the soul quest. Once I believe you get through 9510 you can actually do that. So like my level 44 for example. We can go into the hard with her. And we can proceed. So yes, the uh, CP is slightly lower, but you're gonna find it's not that big of a deal because my character is quite a bit stronger. And for some reason, the CP. And if we win, we get two soul fragments. So you definitely want to um, get these soul fragments as much as you can. So if you have a level 50, 60, 70, get those three to four soul fragments every day. So you can see the boss is times 8. There's the armor. We missed the attack there. We managed to roll out the enemy. You definitely want to roll to your advantage and try to pay attention to the enemy's movements. That's going to be very important. But there you see he's not a very good doctor. Luckily we're not taking that much damage because our level is higher than the opponent. And there we go. Not that big of a deal. If you have a level 40, you should be able to do normal just fine. And you get that extra soul, it's not a big deal. So, we got all the completion rewards, and we're gonna get two soul fragments and not one. 
So we also gain three affinity for that. Affinity uh, kind of gives you cumulative bonuses as well, including more like stats for your character. So now let's say, for example, we want to try expert. Uh, even though it's probably gonna be hard. We're gonna we're gonna go take a look at seventy-two fifty-seven CP. Now here we're probably gonna get staggered a little bit, but let's see what happens. The opponent is level forty. So our our combat power is a little bit low, but I don't think we'll stagger because we're actually higher level than the opponent. So let's try not dodge. This boss has fifteen health bars, so it's gonna take a little bit of work. But you can see that with two special moves, we already took out two bars. There you see we took a decent chunk of damage there. Yeah, spam those special moves any chance you get. You can see that we've already taken the boss down over half of it. Probably should block since you can't dodge. He's gonna use a special move and can take the more of that. Or a finisher. Our finisher is ready now, so we're gonna use it. And they did not block, so that's a big deal. And we're able to actually take him out. So don't be afraid of your CP being lower than the opponents. You will be a higher level, you won't get staggered. So we did take more than 10 hits, but we did dodge one time or less. And the first clear we get five soul fragments. And by doing that, now we get four soul fragments up from two. So is it worth it to do the soul quest with her? Absolutely, because we can do extra difficulty. And once we three uh, start, we can actually finish it. So you guys can see here, we can actually limit break up to 52. And getting the level up is a big deal. We are going to spend another 10,000 gold, but that's not a big deal. But yeah, being able to raise the soul level of a character is a pretty big deal. Because you want to have that one character from each class, especially for uh, three-starring events. You want to have that, because there are going to be certain ones that require you to have a yellow element, a red element, a pink, a purple element, a green element. You want to be able to have one character all the way up. So I have a red that is not five stars, but every other class I have one that is five stars. So obviously focusing on them is a big deal, but don't be afraid to upgrade three stars even. Like if, for example, your favorite character is Ralph Jones, why can't you level him up? You can just evolve him right now up to, let's say four stars. You can farm the events and get the characters out, or you can just play the game and they'll just give you some of the stuff too. So now you can see his max level goes up to 40. So you can even turn the bronze characters into pretty big powerhouses if you try good enough. So again, I would like to thank NetMarvel for sponsoring this video for 3,000 rubies. You guys got to see me get trolled on the Halloween packs. So we did not even pull a 5 star. We didn't pull a Halloween character, but it's their money, not mine. I still have 5,247 rubies if I do want to make future polls, but again, I'm not big on gambling, so we'll have to see if there's a good offer for rubies to take, I will definitely do it, but yeah, I'm not a huge fan of gambling. If you like this video on the King of Fighters 30 Halloween summons, as well as some gameplay and showing off some of the game, please give this video a like rating, comment, subscribe. Share this video amongst your friends and as a favorite. Check out my other King of Fighters All-Star YouTube videos, playlist, Facebook, Twitter, and Twitch, which are all Hollywood Show. My Instagram, which is Hollywood Show Those God. Have a wonderful day, kids. And if you guys are returning viewers from Injustice Gods Among Us, Mortal Kombat Mobile, Marvel Strike Force, WW Mayhem, etc. etc. How do you guys enjoy the new layout? www.youtube.com slash Hollywood Show now. Subscribe, bitches!